you have probably seen popular kids animated story videos like this that get millions of views but the interesting thing about this videos is that now with the help of ai you can make these videos in minutes instead of days or hours so in this video i'm going to show you how you can make animated kids story videos in minutes with the help of ai from scratch so here are the steps involved in this process first we will generate some interesting story ideas and then create script with the help of chat gpt then we will convert that script into the voiceover with the help of free ai voiceover tool then we will create visuals using ai image generator and then we will combine all of them together in the canva editor so let's get started also right we are on the chat gpt so let's ask it for some ideas so I'll write something like this. Generate me some simple and short kids story ideas. Hit enter. So you can see it is generating us interesting ideas. The magical kite adventure, the lost teddy bear. All right, as you can see, it has generated us 10 ideas. So let's go through them all and see which you like. All right, so I like this ninth story here. So now I will ask ChatGPT to generate me the full script for this. One thing I will want to mention that you can ask it to generate 5 minute or 10 minute story or longer or whatever you suits you. Um, but for the convenience of this video, I will generate a short script. So something like generate me a short 30 second story script for the ninth. Keep it simple and interesting and hit enter. Now let's see what it gives us. Alright, so now you can see it has generated me the script, the scene one, bustling and calling. Uh, now next, what you will want to do is that go through the script, read it thoroughly and see if there are any errors and fix those if there are any. Alright, I went through it and I think it's perfect. So next, we will generate its voiceover. So just go ahead and copy it like this and then come over to the TTS maker. I've, I'll put up the link in the description and just come here and paste it in this box and clear out those unnecessary words like here and then this scenes we only want the narrator like this remove everything this 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 and remove narrator as well Alright, now we have cleaned the script. Now we will do some settings for this voiceover. And so after you have put up the script, go over into the more settings here and then come down to this here. Adjust the pause time of each paragraph after each new line. So select the time duration you want pause after each paragraph. I will just go ahead with two seconds. It's uh, two seconds so it's the best. So what will happen with that two seconds is that it will take two second pause after each paragraph. So like this, this is one paragraph, two second gap, then again this and same. Once the setting is done and then go ahead and then choose one of the voices from here you like. I like this one. TTS Maker is a free text to speech tool there. that provides speech synthesis services. TTS Maker is a free text this to is speech tool that provides speech synthesis services. So choose according to the theme of your story. I like this one for this. So I'll just select this and then just hit convert to speech and let's see what it generates for us. As you can see, it has generated us the voiceover. Let's try to hear. In a busy ant colony, a little ant named Andy stood out for his cleverness and quick thinking. As you can see. One day, the colony faced a big challenge. Yeah. Finding a way to reach their food. The colony cheered as they crossed the bridge. You probably have noticed the proper gap between each paragraph, which makes it more interesting. So once you are happy with the script, just go ahead and download it. If you are not happy, then go back to editing and recreate this voiceover. So let's save it. All right. So now our voiceover is ready. Next is that we need the scenes for this video. So what we're going to do, let's get back to chat GPT again. And now we will ask chat GPT to write us the prompt for images, because since we are going to use AI image generator to create the scenes for us. So we will ask it to generate us the image prompts for each of the scenes. So write something like generate me shootable AI image prompt for each of the Scene scenes above keep it prompt detailed and 
and each prompt will be independent of the previous one and will not depend on the previous prompt for context. So we are asking it to generate images that will be somehow rel related to one another. So that's why we wrote this set last line and then just hit enter. Alright, as you can see it is generating us the image prompts here. As you can see it has generated us 10 scenes here. 10 with each having detailed image prompt. Alright. So now we are ready with our prompts. Next, we will go to our AI image generator, which is the Leonardo AI. This is a free AI image generator and that generates quite impressive visuals. So I'll use this, this for the project. You can use any you want. So let's, if you haven't created an account here, just go into get instant access, put up your email ID and password and it will get in. Maybe you will be whitelisted. Once you get account, you will see the screen here. I already have an account here. But these are the different image models that will create different kind of images. For our project, I suggest going with this 3D animation style. So click on this and then generate with this model. So we are on the image generator panel here. Here it will take our prompt. So just go ahead and copy our first image prompt. Copy, then come back here and paste it here. Now from this sidebar settings, select two or three images at most because the more images you select, the more credits will be used for image generation. As you can see, it is saying that for two images, it will take two tokens. And rest of the setting, keep as it is. Don't disturb it or it will disturb the quality of your output. So let it as it is. Then click on generate. And now let's wait for what it generates for us. Or as you can see it has generated quite an interesting I think images here if you're happy with the image just let them be and go ahead and create another image for the second scene so I'll copy the second scene here copy get back here paste it here and then again hit generate our old images just be right below here and let's wait for the another image generation and if you're happy then create another one like this like Andy preaches on leave, copy again, go back again and paste and generate. Okay, so you can see it is not what we are looking for. Yeah, it's because you can see we said Andy preached on a leave, so it doesn't know that we are asking for Andy is our ant. So write something like Andy <laughs> the ant preached on a leaf. Now let's try again. Yeah, like this, this image looks relevant. Then go back again and copy the fourth scene. Repeat. Let's read it and be surrounded by assortment of, assortment of leaves. So again, Andy. So Andy, the and you will have to just use a little co common sense and fix up those issues with this uh, prompts and then hit generate. All right, now you can see. All right, this looks interesting as well. And then we will go for the next one. Now as you can see we have generated all the 10 scenes that we needed. The issue next is that as you can see if you click on this the image resolution is small. We need HD images of this all. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna upscale them. So for that let's first download all these images. Just go ahead and click here download. Save. Click all the images that you like. Uh, as you can see we have downloaded all the scenes here now our aim is to upscale them now click on the upload photo and choose the first scene now you can see it is upscaling it's done now you can either download it for that you will have to log in or simply just right click and copy the image like this all right similarly we will progress for the rest of the scenes So you can see we have generated the scenes. All right, so far we have created the script, generated the voiceover and the scenes using Leonardo. So now next is to finally create the final video. So come over to Canva, go into the videos and from there go into the 
videos here now we are on the canva editor video editor so let's go into the upload and first upload our voiceover from here all right so this is the voiceover click and it's uploading now and click on it again so you can see it is here now similarly upload all those scene now so these are all of the old scenes so right, select all and open now we will add them in the slide in serial so we will start with the first scene so this is our first scene here select on this then right click and select as image as background like that and then scroll to the scene you want front and center like this then choose another slide select another scene uh, choose second scene which is this again set as image like this then for the third one same for the third one select this one right click like this for the fourth one again I will select this because there is so many visuals I can show so I'll just show the different scene from the same image like this and similarly we will complete the whole scenes like this now let me add the title of the story so i will just copy the first scene duplicate it control d okay so you can see it is duplicated now on the first slide here add a heading here go here you can see editing and then i we will add the title the title for the story was the clever ant so select copy paste the clever ant and choose a relevant font for this i will choose a lazy dog yeah it matches the vibe then go into effect and choose this uh, outline and choose a color i like this one take it like this and choose one of the color of the ads <laughs> or this or this or this or this 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 looks good select that all right and and a little bit customize it that we will do is animate mm, this looks good on both all right so let's try and play this the clever ant in a busy ant colony, a little ant may and add the end screen as well here. We on the end screen we can add the lesson of the story, which is something like so just copy that. Add the background image. We will add again this. Set as background. Now change the text color so it looks more clear so I will choose this okay and effect over here choose different color all right so it's good as well and then we will add the animation yeah this looks good and now next we will add the background music for this if you have canva pro you can just go into audio and select one of the like kids music like kids music and search for free ones let's see You can go with the jungle one as well or pixabay or youtube's music library that provides copyright free music which i advise to use uh, but for this i think this will do as well so just click on this now you can see it is down here we will need another audio script again 
so click on this again and bring it here like this now click on this song and come into the volume and reduce it to something really something to like 20 same for this 20 okay forgot to mention that we need to add animation to this uh, images as well so click on this image like this then go into animation and come bar at the bottom here are the photo movements so i suggest uh, switching between these three between the scenes so i will first go with photo flow like this and then intensify you can see it's going up this will give it the appeal of video then click on this for this select photo rise and then for this select zoom out for this go from bottom to up like this then for this go rise and similarly add animation to the all the images okay so now we can say that it is finished and let's see how it looks now the clever ant in a busy ant colony a little ant named andy stood out for his cleverness and quick thinking one day the colony faced a big challenge finding a way to reach their food source on the other side of a deep trench. While others struggled to cross, Andy studied the situation carefully. Using leaves, pebbles, and sticks, Andy devised a brilliant plan. He built a sturdy bridge, allowing all the ants to safely cross the treacherous trench. The colony cheered as they crossed the bridge, grateful for Andy's resourcefulness. From that day on, Andy's cleverness and problem-solving skills inspired others to think outside the box. Andy became a hero and taught his fellow ants the value of teamwork and creative thinking. And together, they overcame any challenge that came their way, building a stronger and more united ant colony. And so, the clever ant Andy's legacy lived on, reminding us that intelligence and ingenuity can lead to great achievements. And so that's how you can make animated stories uh, within minutes, if not hours, using AI tools available for free. And I understand this is not the best quality, but we can make so much better quality if we spend an hour or two into making such as, uh, videos. Like you can see it, I made it within uh, half an hour and this was the quality. So you can understand that if you spend an hour or two, you can generate way better and watch more this story than this. My aim was to just show you that how you can make amazing uh, stories for kids or storytelling videos like this using free AI tools. So I hope you make something great. And so that's it for this video. I hope you like this. We'll take inspiration from it and create some great cool content. Don't forget to share them with us all in the comments. And don't forget that the most important element of a video is its audio and then comes visual. So focus on the decent quality audio and if possible, create your own voiceover using your own voice instead of AI because that will help you with YouTube monetization. So that's it. Thank you for watching.